Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Chris. And today we're going to be looking into another game that I enjoy to play on the iPad especially. Um, and it's called War Robots. Yes, I know this little ad is confusing, but this is just an ad. So, let's get back here. And this is War Robots. <clears throat> if you can't already tell, it's pretty much a similarity between, uh, what's it called? Mech Warriors, which was one of my favorite games growing up. Uh, especially on Windows 95. <laughs> I used to play Mech Warriors uh, Mercenaries 2. Uh, it was definitely my favorite format um, of it, especially the opening credit. Uh, it was definitely something that got me pumped. So the same thing with uh, this game is it's pretty much similar in pretty much every way, except for the fact that it doesn't have a storyline. Um, <clears throat> you can't go to like random places that you want. You're pretty much... Uh, sent to different locations it's already set uh pretty much you have your money which is up top in ag and then you have kind of like your gold or you know your plus points which is au up top as well which is 65 right now uh, normally they'll give you things like on the top right it'll have like maintenance station so you click on that and it's kind of like uh different events that are going on <clears throat> that you can work towards whether it's getting weapons or getting a robot. What I really love about this game is not only that it reminds me of Mech Warriors um, and plays like Mech Warriors, aside from the fact that you can't be in the cockpit, <laughs> is um, basically that you can control what your robot is equipped with. Um, I don't have many. Ooh, sorry, midnight. <clears throat> yeah, she's starring a little guest star in my video then. She's on my Kingdom Hearts uh, server. So we were talking about <laughs> the uh, recent video that I did, which was a uh, reaction to this week's uh, weekly jewel discount deal. Um, but anyway, back to this. There's different uh, robots. And as you can see, all of them are stripped. I stripped them all down just so I have all the weapons that I need for the top three robots that I use. Uh, some of them still have their weapons, or some of them. Uh, also, their specials that so you have on the left side of it. You have armor kits. Uh, they could be nuclear reactors, which um, increase weapon damage. You have additional durability, basic armor plating, increases robot durability, affects your robots. Uh, permanent, its effect is active all the time. So you don't have to worry about activating it during battle. Uh, let's do a little 3D here. <clears throat> so I think this is Natasha, and this is a very, actually, a very powerful and common uh, beauty and gem that people get in this game. So it's not uh, rare to get, but it is powerful when you do get it. I love these things so much. <clears throat> let's see what else. We have a Stalker, we have a Griffin. Griffins are very good. They're very uh, durable, they're very well-rounded. Leos are more on the strength side. Ah, uh, oh, very good, Midnight. She got the uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora Supernova Medal. Shout out to you again. <laughs> I'm glad she's so excited. I'll be drawing it tomorrow when I know I have the money to do so. <laughs> GI Patton, uh, Destroyer, that's it. Okay, let's go to 3D of that one, because this is really small. So as you can see, some of these are really, really small. Others are medium, others are very large, like this one. And honestly, it's just a lot of fun. Um, it's mainly online, so you're always going to be versing people who are also playing online. Um, I've never gotten the premium, as it says on the bottom right, get premium. <clears throat> what is this? Become a premium player. Two times the upgrade speed, 50% silver in battles, 50% experience plus in battles, 10 day premium account, $10, 30 days, $15. Well, I guess the premium would be worth it, considering it's half. But, uh, you know, this isn't a play to win. You really don't have to invest in this. I mean, I've invested, I think, 
twenty dollars uh, on this game, but that's just because I'm such a big fan of it, and it really brings back the nostalgia of uh, Mech Warriors. So let's try and battle. When you go here, it'll give you options, quick match, which it'll give you a random of four or five or six, depending on how many different platforms they're putting out on the day. So it's free for all: domination, beacon rush, team deathmatch. I don't care for beacon rush. <clears throat> free for alls are meh. I kind of like being on a team because it still kind of brings you back to playing Mech Warriors. You know, you go in with a team and you take out your enemy. So I either like to play domination or team deathmatch. So let's go with domination. We'll do a quick match for you. <clears throat> now again, this isn't a play to win, but sometimes it's good to pay five dollars here or there or a dollar. Some of their deals are really good. So I'm going to go with Griffin. Griffin's equipped with... Yeah. It's very... Um, sometimes people get in the way. So I'm going to step down for a minute. So you might not hear me as well, but we're just going to go through the game. Just to kind of show you what it's like. <clears throat> All right. So obviously you use your two hands. You have to hold it down, otherwise you just stop. Use your right finger, kind of brush against the screen and turn. As you can see, people are already fighting. I have a jump ability, so let's use that. This is domination, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to capture, it's kind of like capture the flag, pretty much. But also at the top, in the center, if you see the timer, whoever has the most beacons, by the time the time runs out, wins. Unless you've captured them all, or unless you've knocked out all your opponent's robots. So let's try this again, he's got a shield on, so we are just going to go. There we go, so that was some good teamwork. Let's see if we can get in here. There's some capture the flag. There's an enemy. You guys are heavy hitters. That's okay. I haven't even tapped into my reserves yet. So ultimately, on default, you can have up to three robots per game. And I think you can have six in each bunker. But if you want the fourth slot, it's like a thousand gold, which can take a little time to gather up. I have a switch draw or a quick draw mode which allows me to switch from two different weapon sets as opposed to having them just displayed over my robot. Let's see if we can switch. Maybe get a death in by machine gun. There we go. Alright, well I'm willing to kind of sacrifice my robot here, so. switch and to fire, so we're just going to go ahead and take care of him. Why are you running? You're already gone. Yeah, we are uh, sort of losing. 
which is okay. I really don't care. I'm not in a clan yet. Like, I, I kind of try to go solo. So he's going to try to get away. All right. Well, if that's the case, let's at least go over here and confirm that this is our bunker. Ah, oh, he wants more, huh? I just blasted through your shield. I really don't think you want to mess with my guy. between some people, so uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna die, but that's it. And you know, once you're dead, you can actually switch through and see how your teammates are doing. And you can change the camera view. Let's see how they do. So they have three beacons out of five. We have four minutes left. And it's kind of an equal battle. We have five on four. Take out Big Willie. Take him out. Let's go over to sicko mode. I'm seeing too much damage, so hopefully, yep, yeah, there we go. Take him out. See, these robots are the biggest pain because some of them can create shields or uh, put up a generator like health generators or shield generators um, overall they're actually really good robots but a pain to go up against so we're just gonna leave that <clears throat> And of course, per, you earn money and gold and all that stuff. So there you have it. That's my introduction. I mean, I'll take the ground defense down, but everything else is ew. <laughs> all right, well, anyway, thanks for tuning in and checking this out. This is just my quick overview and my opinion on um, War Robots, which is kind of like a, I don't want to say knockoff, because honestly, it's better than a knockoff. It's kind of like, you know, revamping it. But uh, this is War Robots for iOS. I don't know if it has a um, Samsung counterpart that you can download. But if anything, I would definitely give this game a try. And thanks for tuning in. Until next time, may your heart be your guiding key.